Hi there, Mr. Holcomb here with another episode of The Math Behind the Modules. This is Module 2, Lesson 16, The Applications of the Pythagorean Theorem. Okay, so Example 1 gives you just that, an example, and it's already all done. And what we were trying to find was this side here, which is B. So I'm just going to review the names of the angles. So if B, side B is opposite angle B, um, 5 squared is what they're calling A. So here is A, side A. So therefore, this is angle A. And then C is our, always our hypotenuse, lowercase c for the side name, capital C for the angle name. And that is the setup of the triangle where the angle, the right angle is always capital C and the side opposite, which is called the hypotenuse, is always the lowercase c. And then over here was the calculation to find that b equals 12. If you need to pause the video and look at that solution, do so. I'm moving on to exercise 1 and 2. So here's a new triangle. 1 says use the Pythagorean theorem to find the missing length of the leg in the right triangle. So the first thing I do is write the formula. It's always the same. a squared plus b squared equals c squared. c squared is my hypotenuse every single time. Don't ever forget that. That is the side opposite the 90. So my 25 is going over here. So I'm going to write 25 squared here. Do not ever put the 25 or the hypotenuse as a or b. You will not get the right answer. Okay, so there's 25 over here. Then a and b don't matter. So if I choose a to be 15, then that will be 15 squared plus b squared equals 25 squared. Then calculate your squares. 15 squared is 225 plus b squared equals 625, which is 200, which is 25 times 25. In order to get b squared by itself, we have to subtract 225 from it. And what we do to one side, we have to do to the other to keep the equation equal. These cancel, and I get b squared. 5 minus 5 is 0. 2 minus 2 is 0. 6 minus 2 is 4. And then we finally take the square root of both sides. And the square root of b squared is simply b. And the square root of 400 is 20. So the missing side length is 20. Okay, hey, here's exercise two. It says you have a 15 foot ladder and it is labeled right here, 15 feet. And need to reach exactly nine feet up the wall. So the distance up the wall is nine feet. Here's our wall. How far away from the wall should you place the ladder so that you can reach your desired location? So we want to know the distance. I'll call this A this time the distance from the wall. So, as, as always, we write the formula a squared plus b squared equals c squared. I always like to write the hypotenuse in first just so I don't forget. So the right triangle is here, the right angle is here, the side opposite is 15 feet. So c is going to be 15 squared. We're trying to find a squared. b squared is 9. So here's our setup. First thing we do is simplify. So a squared plus 9 squared, which is 81, equals 15 squared, which is 225. I'm going to subtract 81 from both sides. And these cancel, and I get a squared equals 5 minus 1 is 4, 12 minus 8 is 4, and bring down the 1. This happens to be a perfect square. And when I take the square root of both sides, and I get A equals 12. Now, here's where I'm going to start paying attention to unit of measurement. And I'll put it in at the end rather than having it all the way through the equation. But just keep in mind that we are talking about a unit of measurement here. And the answer is 12 feet. Okay, exercise three. Find the length of segment AB if possible. All right, so here, if I draw 
lines. I'm going to point something out to you here if I do this. If I just draw a line at A, that's right here. And then if I rotate this vertical and draw a line here, you can see that I drew a line that is coincides with this side here, which is side B. This is B, opposite capital B. This here is the side opposite A. So this is side A. Okay, let me just change this color to green. Keep this one color coded. Okay, so here's A, here's B. We're trying to find side C which is the hypotenuse. So the formula is, uh, let me keep the colors. The formula is A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So now I just need to count when we're on a, when I, when we're on a um, coordinate plane. We need to see need to count the distance. That's one, two, three, four. It started at one and went to five, so that's a difference of four. So A is four squared. B is my horizontal distance. So from two to five is five minus two, which is three. One, two, three, which is three squared. And that is going to equal our hypotenuse, which we are trying to find c squared. This is the only way to find the length of a diagonal on a coordinate plane. I can't count this as one and this as a part and this as another and then another. These are smaller pieces. There's no way to count. Even if it was perfectly diagonal, the diagonal is not equal to one if the two sides are one. So now I'm going to simplify this. 4 squared is 16 plus 3 squared, which is 9. And that's going to equal our hypotenuse squared. Next step is to combine like terms or simplify. 16 plus 9 is 25. And then to solve this, I take the square root of both sides. And that will leave me with C equals, and the square root of 25 is 5. So the distance here is 5. Okay. Okay. Here's example four. Given a rectangle with dimensions five centimeters and ten centimeters, as shown, find the length of the diagonal if possible. So again, the diagonal is opposite the right angle. So this is going to be my C. So I set up the formula first. A squared plus B squared equals c squared. It doesn't matter what we name a and b, just make sure that c is always the hypotenuse. And since we that's what we don't know, that's what we're solving for. So I can make a 10 and b 5. 10 squared is 100. 5 squared is 25. And that equals c squared. 100 plus 25 is 125. And that equals c squared. Take the square root of both sides. And we get C equals the square root of 125. Now I can try to simplify a perfect or a square root, see if it's a perfect square or not. I know it's not a perfect square because 11 squared is 121. And this is just a little bit more. But I would like to always try to reduce this if possible. So I do a factor tree. 5 will go into 12 two times. The remainder of 2, and 5 will go into 25 five times. So that's 5 times 25 is 125. Well, 25 is 5 times 5. And whenever we're doing this, think of the square root of 125 now is the same as saying the square root of a perfect square, which, which is right here, which is the square root of 25 times this 5 right here. 
I'm not going to go any further here because 25 is 5 times 5. But if I take the square root of 25 times that other square root of 5, that would equal 125. And that will simplify 25. The square root of 25 is 5. And then leaving us that radical 5. So that simplified would be 5 square root 5 equals C. Okay. If you left it like this for now, I would accept it unless it says simplify the radical if possible, then you should do that. Okay, number five. A right triangle has a hypotenuse of length 13. So the first thing I would do is draw a picture of this and any right triangle knowing that it's not going to be drawn to scale. And I'd put 13 for the hypotenuse. Hypotenuse is opposite the right angle. And a leg with length of 4. So I'll call this 4 inches. So we're talking about inches here. So I need to find B or A. It doesn't matter what we call it. Okay, so we're going to set up the formula. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Remember, the hypotenuse is 13, so I'm always going to put that in first so I don't mix it up. And we can call A 4, and we don't know B. Simplify. 16 plus B squared equals 169. Subtract 16 from both sides. And 16 minus 16 is 0, leaving me with B squared equals 9 minus 6 is 3, 6 minus 1 is 5. Bring down the 1 and I get 153. In order to simplify this further, we have to take the square root of both sides. And that will lead us to square root of B squared is B equals the square root of 153. If I come over to the side here and try to simplify this, I know 3 will go into 15 5 times and then 3 once. But 3 is prime, 51 is prime. I don't have any pairs, so I cannot simplify this. So this is my answer. But then again, we also want to keep track of what we're talking about, and that is the square root of 153 inches. Number six, find the length of B. B is here. C is my right angle, so therefore 11 is my hypotenuse. So I'm going to write A squared plus B squared equals C squared. A is opposite the angle A, which is 4, 4 squared, plus B is opposite angle B, which we don't know. That's what we're trying to find, so I'm going to write B squared. And the hypotenuse is 11, 11 squared. Simplify, 4 squared is 16, plus B squared equals 11 squared is 121. Get B squared by itself by subtracting 16 from both sides. 16 minus 16 is 0. 0 plus B squared is B squared. And then we subtract over here. 11 minus 6 is 5. 0, 1. And take the square root of both sides. And that simplifies to B equals. And again, I'm going to take 105 and do a factor tree. And 5 will go into 10 twice. And 5 will go into 5 once. 21 is 3 times 7. 5 is prime, 3 is prime, 7 is prime. I have factored this down to primes. There are no pairs. This will not simplify. So my answer will just be square root of 105. Okay, that is the end of lesson 16 and the end of module 2. Go do your problem set.